how to increase rents without upsetting your tenants. Yeah, we really wanted to talk about this because once again, we have to deal with these raising, rising interest rates and we're running a business. So, but Tim, that doesn't mean we have to come across harsh about it. We don't have to be jerks about it, as we said before. Um, we have to be realistic and we have to communicate this to the tenants. Yeah, and the first thing you wanna do is whatever you're gonna give the tenants of rent increases, give them adequate notice. Um, technically, you don't have to give notice here in Alberta once a fixed tenancy lease ends. When the lease ends, it ends and that's it. But we suggest being proactive and letting your tenants know whether there's going to be increased, whether you're not going to renew the lease or whether you're just going to keep it the same. So three months notice is the standard. Yeah, Tim, and saying that you don't want to put a tenant in limbo. We come across this all the time, Tim, where the tenancy, the lease is coming up and nobody knows what's going on. There's the, the owner doesn't know if he was, wants to raise the rents or he doesn't know if he's selling or he doesn't know if the tenant's moving out. So communication is key. We are in the people business. Tim, what's next? The next thing is you're only allowed to give a rental increase once per year. So if even if you put them on a three month lease or a six month lease, you're not allowed to re increase your rent more than once per year. So make sure you communicate that with your tenant and you stay fair about it. Yeah, so you have to understand that once you have that increase, and Tim, we've seen rents go for, we're just talking about condos downtown, from $1,200 a month for a two bedroom condo, now all the way up to $2,000. So Tim, what can people do when there's such a massive, massive jump? We always say you have to communicate that and explain your cost situation. Um, and, and many things come into play here, Tim, not only interest rates, there's taxes, insurance costs are going up and sometimes special assessments on condos or maintenance costs on, on detached homes, they come up as well. So if you explain this to your tenant, I mean, they don't have to agree, but at least if they understand where you're coming from, um, you know, everyone's under the same understanding. Yeah. And another thing, another point we want to bring across is Try not to gouge the tenants unless you really, really have to. So if you're renting, a, say, a main floor out for $1,200 a month and the market rent happens to be $2,200 a month right now, we don't suggest jumping that full $1,000 on the tenant because you're going to lose him. If you can afford it, if you're still staying in a cash flow positive position, maybe meet the tenant in the middle. Sometimes you can't, so it's inevitable that you have to. But Giving the tenants the impression that you're gouging them will always leave a sour taste in their mouth. And if they don't leave, they may cause problems, you know, while they're there. Yeah, for sure. So if you have to raise the rents, that's part of the business, unfortunately. But we always leave off with a good tenant is sometimes better than a few extra bucks in your pocket. Yeah. And the final thing we're going to talk about is work with your tenants. Um as you know, the vacancy rate is very low right now, and it's for some people, it's very, very hard to find a place to live. But if you work with your current tenants, um, you know, work, like as I've said, mention all of your costs and that you're running a business and you don't want to run it at a loss. Uh, see if they can live with that rental increase. If not, you know, you can suggest that they or you can suggest resources for them to find a different place to live at a lower rent. So you're working with them to move out. Or you can even suggest things like, well, if you find a roommate, perhaps you can live here at the higher rental rate. Yeah, exactly. So that's our investment tip of the week, um, how to raise rents correctly and not upset your tenants. If you've missed our other tips, please visit our Crew TV. It's on YouTube. It's free. There's many more tips for you and you can learn one or two things from it.